The company has announced its latest signing in Karnataka named Peninsula Suites. Uh, the property is expected to be operational by 2023 October and it operates 8400 rooms in 88 hotels across 54 destinations. To discuss this and the outlook going forward and what's the demand like, uh, especially in the summer season, we have Mr. Patanjali Keswani, who is the Chairman and Managing Director at Lemon Tree Hotels, joining us now. Mr. Keswani, good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. Always pleasure speaking with you. Um, this new agreement that you have signed, uh, with uh, where you will be uh, announcing or signing this entry into Karnataka with Peninsula Suites, can you give us more details here? What kind of capex is required here? When you mean it will be operational by October 2023, uh, will you be putting in more capex for maintenance or upgradation or is it a property which is ready to be used? Uh, good afternoon, Sural. See, uh, these are managed contracts. So we do not put any capital. We merely charge a management fee for operating the hotel and uh, incentive fees for performance and for marketing and selling uh, you know the rooms so uh, all the hotels like this year you are asking me for a flavor this year we we expect to open over 20 hotels and if we include that single hotel of ours which we are ourselves putting capex in in bombay which is the oreca then we'll open about 2000 rooms uh, 20 hotels and uh, the investment any capital investment by us will only be confined to the Bombay Orica. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Keswani, is this the most in the recent past in terms of your expansion plans, 20 hotels, 2,000 rooms in one year? Or is this an average trend? Well, I think it is uh, a starting trend because okay. when we started this, uh, uh, you know, this, this part of the business, which is managing hotels, uh, we were accelerating very slowly. Uh, now that COVID is over, this 2000 is the is this year. I expect next year will be a higher number. And going forward is still higher number because the broad uh, uh, target uh, I have mentioned earlier in public was that we will be over 20,000 rooms by 2026. Okay. Um, okay, so that's the long-term target. I wanted to understand since we are talking about managing these new set of hotels that you spoke about, what is management fee as a part of your revenues and will you be taking up more such contracts and so the pie in your overall revenues go up from your own? Yes, so management fees typically are one-seventh of the hotel's profits. Oh. So if the hotel makes seven crores of uh, EBITDA, the manager would take one crore. Um, currently, about 40% of our hotel inventory is... Uh, forty-five percent is managed by us. We own the remaining fifty-five um, percent. Uh, but in the next three to four years, uh, the managed part will be seventy percent at least of the total inventory. So let's put it simply: uh, we, after we open the Orica Bombay, we will own about six thousand rooms, and we intend to manage another fourteen thousand at the least in the next four years. So it's seventy thirty. Okay. Got that. Uh, and this is by 2026. This is how you arrive at the 20,000 room figure that you indicated. 6,000 owned and 14,000 will be managed. And what would yeah, the stake but, here? But, but, yes. Wait. But they will not all be open. Because what happens is by then we will have signed this number. There is a difference Got between it. signing and opening. So maybe, you know, by that time, 15, 16,000, 17,000 rooms will be open. We don't, we can't really anticipate that. But at least 20,000 will be um, due to be fully open uh, or signed up by that period. Sir, but and as your uh, contribution of managed goes up from the current 45% to 70% in the next four years, say by 2026, what will the margins of the company look like at that point of time? Once you see, arrive at the target. See, our operating owned hotels at the hotel level, the margin is between, I would say, 57-58%. Uh, when you account for manage, uh, when you account for corporate office expenses and below the line, uh, our uh, overall EBITDA margin drops to a little north of 50%. Now, obviously, the managed portfolio is 100% flow through to EBITDA, whatever fees we charge, because uh, those are, uh, they have very low variable cost. So, uh, if Let's put it simply, if 70% of our inventory is managed and we take one-seventh of that as fees, 
then effectively it is like owning 10% of that inventory. And uh, uh, so our EBITDA would go, go, you know, grow by another 7-8%. So if, if this continues, uh, and of course we continue to manage uh, the inflation impact on the cost side, then I would estimate that the growth, the net EBITDA of the company would be between 55 to 60%. 55 on a much larger to 60%. Okay, yeah. 55 to 60% over a longer period of time could be the margin once the proportion also changes. When you spoke about the uh, supply side inflation, let's talk about the demand side as well because your average uh, room rentals have been the highest since listing at 5,738. Considering what the demand scenario is right now, do you think uh, there are there's more room for hikes here or do you think it will stabilize at these levels? See, uh, you see pricing in our business has nothing so all to do with uh, anything other than demand, okay? So if demand picks up and demand in India, there is a direct correlation that whatever is the rate of growth of the economy in real terms, multiply it by 1.5, and that is demand growth for managed hotels, uh, for uh, branded hotels. So if the economy grows at 6 to 7%, or we achieve our target of a $5 trillion economy in the next, you know, seven years, then demand in India will grow at least at 10% a year. Now, supply is going to grow at 4 to 5. So, pricing will all obviously move north in the next four years. And my broad guess is that on a CAGR or an averaged out basis, prices in hotels in India, in the branded sector, will grow at 15% a year, uh, averaged out over the next four to five years. 15% over every year, that sounds, at least for uh, uh, consumers here, it sounds like a big hike, right? But of course, as you've seen, demand has been increasing across the board. Flights are I booked. don't think wages are going up at 15%. <laughs> but no, I that's think... Deepa, Deepa, let me just correct you. What is the average rate? What is, uh, you know, our average rate excluding keys is about 6,000 rupees. What is 6,000 rupees? It is $75. Where would you get these kind of hotels with these kind of services anywhere in the world at $75. It should be, okay. I mean, look at keys. It's sub, sub $50. Right. So please no. look at it from a, remember our cost structure, a lot of it is a global cost structure. Interest right. rates are high in India. So I don't think the, in fact, you asked me, our pricing is quite depressed. I would love to see it at somewhat realistic levels. Mm. Okay. Income levels also in India, sir, are lower than the developed uh, countries, and that's uh, one of the factors, right? Uh, mm. But thank you very much uh, for joining in. We look forward to talking when uh, your numbers are out, Q4 numbers, and we can, uh, you know, get some numbers in about FI24 growth rates as well. But we've got